Hey y'all, welcome. Today I'm going to talk about the top eight fall bags in my collection. Now, this is just my collection. There are plenty more fall bags out there, but specifically this, or these, bleh. Specifically, these are the bags in my collection that I'm sharing that are great for fall. As you all know, quick disclaimer, I wear my bags all year long, no matter what color. I just wanted to share some options in case you are more or less of a risk taker when it comes to color during the fall and winter season. But yeah, I have eight bags to share with you. Let's start with Saint Laurent. I apologize, y'all are probably very tired of seeing this, but it hasn't gone anywhere, okay? This is the Nikki Baby in vintage crinkled leather. I have it in black. I have it in the so black hardware. However, it comes in so many other colors, so many of them which are appropriate for fall. And honestly, you know, with fall colors, you can kind of wear them all year long. I know people don't normally do that. They're too expensive, okay? Not to do that. Just to let you know, this bag comes in so many different colors, okay? I'm just gonna show you a few. If you want to spend a little more, you wanna be a little more bougie, they have this ostrich one. That's four grand. <gasps> it's crazy to me for that. I don't know. Yeah, mm, I've just never been into animal skin like that. I know leather is Let's move on. They have this lambskin one. Let's see, I'm trying to look for the colors in this specific one. This is the vintage crinkle leather, but this comes in several different types of fabrics and patterns. Like this one's crocodile embossed. That's a beautiful deep green color, if this is your thing. I typically stay away from croc print because it's not really my thing. But if you want it more of the vintage crinkle leather like this, I don't see the black, but I'm sure you can find it somewhere. I'll find it below and link it for you. But it comes in this gorgeous navy color. Oh my gosh, the navy is absolutely stunning. And then it also comes in this bright red called Rouge et Rose. So you have plenty of different options. And as I, okay, what is this brown? Hold on. See, they have them spread out. So there's more crinkled vintage leather. This dark chocolate is absolutely beautiful. That one has like a gunmetal hardware. And then if that is too dark, there's a natural tan. That one's beautiful. I'm telling y'all this Nikki baby, it should be available. I don't see them discontinuing the black. Yes, okay, here are all the colors. So black is available. They have dark green, the storm gray color is beautiful, oh my gosh. A darker like wine color called Rouge Legion, gold sand, and even off-white Blanc Vintage. So many beautiful colors. I did a thorough review on this bag. I need to do some type of update. I don't know, I just want another excuse to talk about this bag, <laughs> to be honest with you. But this bag is freaking amazing. As I always preach, you could toss it around if you want to. I mean, I wouldn't do that with an expensive bag, but I'm just saying, it doesn't require much maintenance. Or if you're a little more clumsy, this is the bag for you. You don't have to do much with it. The real only concern you have to be concerned about is the hardware. I don't see anything wrong with my hardware and I've had it and I've been using it like crazy. You can store so much in here. I have bag inserts and I have the dust bag that came with it, I'm telling you. This bag is freaking amazing. If you don't have a Nikki baby or a Nikki medium, cause it comes in a bigger size if, if this is too small for you, but the store is a lot, okay? You might wanna see them in store. If you don't own either one of those, you're not living life. I'm just saying. Next on my list, I have Givenchy. Wait, no, I have one more Saint Laurent bag. The one I'm showing you is the small Lulu and off-white, still available. It has like this vintage silver looking hardware. I mean, it's basically just silver, but yeah, it's silver, it's not vintage at all. But it kind of looks like it is, I don't know. People, okay, let me tell you how I am and you shouldn't be surprised. I'm not a no white after Labor Day girl. I wear my white whenever I want. In dead winter, in dead December, on Christmas, I've worn white jeans before. So, however, if you're not one of those people that can do that or that wants to do that, off-white is your best friend. You can still find a way to rock this. You can wear this in fall and winter. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. But if you still don't want to do off-white, that's still too much for you. The Lulu comes in different sizes, different colors, which are more fall appropriate. I'll just share a few of them with you. There's this black. I mean, everybody has black and gold. I don't know who doesn't. That storm color is beautiful. Y'all know gray is huge this season. It's absolutely beautiful. I need a solid all gray, but I don't know if I'll get it. There's this darker red again, that darker wine looking color again, taupe, dark beige. I mean, those are colors you can find regardless. So you might wanna step outside of your comfort zone. I don't know, I'm just saying. There's the Toy Lulu bag if you want something even smaller than this, but this is a pretty good size in my opinion. I can't speak for everyone else. However, if this isn't big enough, there's this bigger one, the Lulu Medium. This dark green is absolutely beautiful. Black, you know, your typical colors. What is this one? Ooh, that color is stunning. It's like this burnt orange color. Y'all know burnt orange is huge during harvest season. 
absolutely huge. There's this brown color. So as you see, there are so many different color options with these bags. Like literally, you don't have to just go with the color I have. I just wanted to give it to you as an option of what I have, in case you have the same bags. Next, Givenchy. As you know, I only have one Givenchy bag right now. My beloved Intercota Mini in 10. Who would I be if I didn't include this one in this video? This bag is so fall appropriate, it's not even funny. I mean, look at it. Thanksgiving, I don't know, Halloween, fall, period. Beautiful color. I posted on Instagram, which by the way, if you're not following me, be sure to follow me, Lux and Lipsticks, followed out. On Instagram, I posted that this reminded me of peanut butter. That's like the perfect way to describe this. I didn't even think about that when I did the initial review. Peanut butter, but better. Oh, so beautiful. Someone asked me too if I've had any problems with scratching. I have not, but I could definitely still do an update. It's still in pristine condition. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful, okay? Highly recommend this bag. I know it's not uber duper popular, but trust me, it's perfect. It holds so much. And it's just so chic. I think it's a timeless style, regardless who's wearing it. I think it's timeless and it comes in different colors too. To continue along with that theme, let's see what that comes in. So I used to have a white bag, as some of you know. It was in green leather. I ended up selling it because I, did, I hated the texture and it was a nightmare to keep clean. I never want another white bag in green leather. So it's just something to keep in mind. That requires a lot of maintenance. Their box calf leather does not require that much maintenance. That in mind, there are multiple color options. There's the black with the silver hardware. There's this ivory color, which I'm quite sure is green leather. It might not be though. I don't recommend it if it is, okay? There's this gorgeous lilac color. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And of course it's sold out. Not that I wanted to buy it or anything, but you know, just letting you know. That purple is so stunning, my God. And of course there's the brown color. They're calling it brown on there but it was called tan when I ordered it, so I don't know. Maybe it's called brown, who knows? But yeah, those are your color options now, but from season to season, they often have different colors, you know, updates and all of that, so. Another great bag for fall. Number three, wait, number four. <laughs> I have the Chanel Classic Flap. I have the black one, and this is a medium caviar leather. This will probably be the only one I get unless they miraculously change the price, which I don't see happening. <laughs> but it's still a nice bag to have a fall winter. It's a classic style, you know. It ages well as far as, you know, value. But as far as the quality, yeah, that's that. I haven't worn this bag recently, to be honest with you. I'm still holding on to it because if it goes up to $30,000, I'm gonna collect my money. But yeah, it's a nice bag to have. It's just more on the pricey side. So if you're not looking to spend an arm and a leg, I don't recommend this. If price is not a problem or issue, it's always a good choice. Just be sure to get it before the next sorrow price increases. I know it feels like I'm always coming for Chanel. I am, but also from Chanel. The Chanel 19. I realize now I still haven't done a comparison of these two. Let me know if you're still interested in the comparison. I have two 19s. I might possibly get another one because although the classic flap is super expensive, the 19 isn't as expensive. So, but this typically might not be considered it a fall color i mean it's not honestly that's why i brought this other butterscotch looking one this is technically called caramel but it looks more butterscotch to me okay that's the color of it but it's a nice fall color anything nude basically it's any type of year you know any time of year i mean fall spring summer winter whenever you want to wear nude you could do that whenever you want to brown wear brown whenever you want to wear brown you could do that but the 19 is always a great option. It's another great classic. The leather is a lot more delicate than caviar, so just keep that in mind. Comes in several leathers, several colors. I have two picks from Louis Vuitton. I have the Louis Vuitton Vaugera. This has a top handle, is very roomy inside. I picked this because it has a nice pairing of both neutrals, black and brown. And also you can store a lot in here. Somebody actually called me out, not a bad way. It was just an observation on her behalf. She was like, that bag really doesn't look like you, knowing your style and everything. And to be honest with you, I love the appearance of it when I got it, but my style has evolved and kind of changed a little bit. I'm a little, I dress a lot more edgier. This is way more classy than I am. I still Still like it. I hold on to it because it's one of my bigger bags and if I need a bag to take to the movie theater or something to stash. Not to stash anything in, you know, I go for this one. <laughs> or if I happen to dress a little classier, I carry this sometimes. That's a good observation on your behalf. I think y'all know me better than I do, which is kind of creepy. Kind of good because you call me out on stuff and all of that. You keep me in check. Also from Louis Vuitton, this is the Alma BB. 
such a classic. I love the Damier bean too. With this, you don't have to worry about anything with the bachata or anything dark in it. There's no bachata. It has treated leather. It's beautiful. So easy to keep clean. It has feet on the bottom. This one is kind of more dressy, but you could definitely wear it more casual. You know, if you take the crossbody strap out and just wear it that way rather than trying to do a top handle. Always a classic. Always beautiful. It comes in monogram too if you don't mind the bachata. And it also comes in on prompt leather of some sort. Let me just look. Since I've been looking right, excuse me. It comes in on prompt leather and epi leather. Epi leather comes in three colors. So if you're not all about the monogram or, you know, Louis Vuitton showing all over the bag, you can go for one of the other options. Epi leather is just nice and smooth and a little tiny LV in the bottom right corner. And then, you know, of course, the emprunt leather is very similar to monogram, except the leather is different and it's all one color. So you have different options there. Also, they have the monogram vernis leather. I doubt I'm pronouncing it right, but it's just a nice patent finish. Very shiny, very dressy, to be honest with you. You know, dressy for me, I'll say. Last but not least, the Bottega Veneta padded cassette. The same could be said about the cassette. I guess I could have grabbed it, huh? <laughs> Sorry. It's that bag up there, green one. You know what it looks like, that right there. Anyway, orange is definitely a fall color, okay? It's beautiful. This color is light orange, actually, even though there's nothing light about it. I don't know what they were thinking. This bag and so many other styles come in different colors, so many different colors. They're constantly released in different colors. I'm just gonna share a few of my favorites with you. Okay, so they have this thunder color, which is gray. I know I'm a colors girl, but I absolutely love gray too. I love this thunder color. Black, of course. This color is popular, that blaster color. I've seen that in shoes too that they've been coming out with. Millard is pretty. Of course, I'm gonna go for green. Parakeet. Racing green is an extremely great fall color. Fondant, grape, cinnabar. Ooh, kind of reminds me of this except more pink than the one I have. Lavender, honestly, the lavender, you would think more of a spring color, but that lavender that they have is not lavender like we know it. It's more of a muted dull. I don't wanna say it in a bad way. Not for me. It's more of a muted neutral purple, which would make it purple for fall. So believe it or not, this color would be fall appropriate in my opinion. Of course, your news, caramel, of course. Peachy, I think that's fall too. Chalk. So you have different color options there with the padded cassette. The reason, I forgot actually the reason why I left it up there. When I think of fall, winter, the colder months, I should just say fall, huh? Cause this isn't a winter video, it's a fall video. When I think of fall, I think adding a little more layers and this one's thicker. That made no sense when it comes to bags, but I just feel like, I don't know. I want a little more during the fall. So that's why I didn't put, I didn't bring a cassette, the flat one, but you could definitely do that the same way they still have beautiful fall colors that are out in that one. If that's more your jam, if this is too much, if this is too poofy. That is it for my top eight fall bags in my collection. What are your top favorites in your collection? What are others you think I should have in mind? You think I shouldn't? Feel free to let me know because I'm curious what you all think and how well you all think you know. Rate the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any likes of videos I post. I'll leave a similar video here in case you missed it. Talk soon. Thanks for watching.